This week in Michigan football history. This week we go all the way back to October 2nd, 1926, when Michigan's grand old man, Fielding H. Yost, prepared for his 25th and final season as head coach of the Wolverines. Yost had more on his mind than just football that fall. He had the dual role as athletic director and oversaw the construction of the new football stadium. But things were not going well. In September, excavators discovered way more water than they expected. It eventually reached disaster levels as one million gallons a day were pouring into the site. The H2O was eventually tamed. And on this day in 1926... Yost got back to the business of football by opening the season against the Aggies of Oklahoma A&M. The head coach for those Aggies was a former Michigan legend named John Maltbesh. Maltby was a three-time All-American for Yost from 1914 to 1916 and became a nationwide sensation. It all started with a trip to play Harvard in 1914. The East Coast media marveled at the running style and the heart of the diminutive back. Maltbesh folded his body like a jackknife, bent completely over as he plowed over and over again through the Harvard line. Michigan actually lost the game, but that didn't matter to the media on hand. A sports star was born, and as they loved to do back then, the nicknames followed. They dubbed him the featherweight fullback and the human shrapnel and the Michigan cannonball, amongst others. They followed Malpesh back to Michigan, where they learned he still ate dinner at his mom's Ann Arbor home, and a typical meal consisted of two apple pies and a pot of coffee. During the summer, the legend spread that he had defeated the world's strongest man in a wrestling competition on a Lake Michigan boat. So back on this day in 1926, Molly was welcomed back to Ann Arbor as the head coach of Oklahoma A&M. The Yostmen were too much for his Aggies, though. In front of 18,000 in the final season at Ferry Field, fullback Bo Melinda found the end zone three times and Michigan rolled 42-3. to Later that season, Michigan pounded Wisconsin in the final game at Ferry Field and in Yost's last game, an unprecedented in-season rematch against Minnesota for the Little Brown Jug, his Wolverines defeated the Gophers 7-6 to in Minneapolis. Michigan's grand old man was sent out the way he started in 1901 as a champion. Go Blue! Beat the Badgers! For more, check out mvictors.com and wtka.com for the Key Bank Countdown to kick off. This is Greg Dooley.